Why the Lover and the Beast? Uh, the series actually didn't even start with the Lover and the Beast. Uh, my original thought for the series was, was a sole focus on this character, this persona, uh, which was an exploration of something that was inside me and I thought was in others, um, called the Beast, uh, who was someone that would take over just animalistic lust and didn't have emotions, didn't think, didn't love, just wanted to conquer. So I started this uh, this series uh, which spawned The Lover and the Beast, uh, focusing just on the Beast, and I found myself not being true to the entire series because the Lover would come out within me. There was moments when I wasn't just thinking of physical lust, I wasn't just thinking of, uh, of conquering or having something um, for pure pleasure. There was times that this other side of me, the lover, um, took over. So this series is probably the biggest exploration I've done, and most honest one um, to date of what we have inside us and what I have inside me. This one side that is capable of loving, is capable of being vulnerable, and wants to love. This one side that's going to recognize a, uh, a gaze in someone's eyes and know there's something special there, or is going to feel this element of butterflies in their heart and know that this is different from the others. But then there's the beast. Beast who comes out uh, not opposing the lover. This is what I, something I've also kind of learned over the series. He protects the lover. He, he or she doesn't really have a gender, but um, comes when the lover is vulnerable. Tells the lover not to feel. Tells the lover to hide away. Because there's an instant gratification of being the beast. The beast doesn't know pain. It doesn't know what it feels to hurt. It doesn't know loss. The beast only knows one thing: is that when he's out or she's out, that it feels good. When the beast comes out, he's not the real person in you. He's not the person that could live always. I couldn't be the beast on my life. Um, I'm not sure, but they work together. I want you to come and I want you to open your soul and I want you to step into my world and live what I lived through and see what you've lived through that see what you could learn from what I've learned once you have this um, aspect of self-awareness, once you have this aspect of this is who I am and this is my behaviors and this is what I know I can do, you could truly be true to someone once you're aware of those things. So this is where I am. <laughs>